and gang it's your boy retro back again with another reaction video yeah yeah uh it's gonna be checking out a clip from newsmax um this one is titled former president donald trump um says cricket joe biden killed an american dream i'm excited to check this one out man see how biden you know killed the american dream i already kind of you know know where he's going with this you know everything like the price of everything has went up underneath biden's presidency the inflation of gas groceries it's just like it's cheaper to you know eat out every day than it would be to make a meal every day for your family so if that says anything i mean i just don't i don't know what says it uh make sure you guys like this video man subscribe to the channel and wrote the 10k y'all let's get straight into it 16 months from now each of you will vote in the most important election of your lifetimes this will be the most important election with your country, your freedom, and your future on the line, we are in trouble. This country is in trouble. The election will decide whether your generation inherits a fascist country or a free country, whether you will have a rule of tyrants or the rule of law, whether Marxist radicals burn our civilization to the ground, which they're looking to do, or young patriots like you propel America to glorious new heights greater than ever before. Side by side, we're going to fight and we're going to win. We have no choice, actually. We're going to evict crooked Joe Biden. You know, I took the name off of Hillary. You know that, right? Everybody here knows that. It was crooked Hillary. I was very successful. But I think she's out of it now. But no, I thought it was more appropriate uh, because he's crooked. As you can get, this is the most dishonest president in history. And I wouldn't have said it. You know, I have, I have pride in the presidency and respect for the presidency. I wouldn't have said it. But I say things about him over the last three weeks that I would have never said before about any president. Uh, he is a corrupt, horrible, incompetent man. And he's destroying our country. And we have to have it changed. Damn, he said, I don't usually say this about, you know what I'm saying, our presidents. I have respect for, you know, presidents, everyone except for him. He is not a patriot. He does not stand for our country. He stands for the interests of foreign nations, not his people. Yeah, I'm with Trump behind him on that one, man. That, that's definitely Join Joe our Twitty. country, and we have to have it changed. It has to be changed. And with God's help, we're going to save America on November 5th, 2024. And when I said... Originally in 2016, it's the most important election. I meant it. This is far more important. This is far more important because our country is ready to go down, ready to go possibly into World War III. And this won't be a war like others. This will be a nuclear war and the level of destruction. It's called obliteration. It's not two army tanks going back and forth, shooting at each other. This is big stuff. And we have a man who's grossly incompetent, who doesn't even know where he is who can't put two sentences together Damn. and this is the man that's telling us what we're going to be doing under biden hope and opportunity for young people so i know i wouldn't want to have biden as our president going into world war three i'm gonna just say that right now i don't i don't know who i would want to have i would want to have a strong leader you know what i'm saying that knows the military and knows tactics tactics to you know make sure that we prevail in the end I don't feel like Joe will be our be our to steer this country in the right direction. We would definitely be some assistance. Whoever the hell is steering or coaching Joe in the background is who I would hope to be. You know, what I mean, the leader uh, during World War Three. Hopefully, it don't happen during Joe's presidency. I'm gonna say that right now because if that's the case, man, we might be underneath uh, Russian rule or you know, what I'm saying North Korean rule. We don't we don't know who gonna come. You know, what I'm saying take over and invade. But Joe. He would definitely be sleeping on a job when they come to of Telling us what we're going to be doing under Biden, hope and opportunity for young people. So many young people here are being utterly extinguished. Mm. In the Biden economy, one third of Gen Z and millennials have no savings accounts and no saving whatsoever. They have nothing. They have nothing. Home ownership has been pushed out of reach for millions with the rate of 30 year mortgages up. 177 percent since i left office damn bro the how no but the housing market did go just fucking it went left bonkers man it is tough and i know i work in the uh, property property management product oh, property management real estate uh industry so i know 
firsthand. I see it all the time. Um, companies, big institutions are coming and buying up all of these homes that are newly built and they're just renting them out. You know what I mean? So it's kind of the market is so competitive. If you're not, you know, in industry, if you're not looking to buy three, four, five, six, you know, seven homes on a block, you're not you're going to get beat up, beat out every time you try to bid on a home because they're just going to keep outbidding you until they get the home. They don't want you to own a home now. They want you to rent rent forever. And it's rent is a trap. One hundred and seventy seven percent. Since I left office. And by the way, that's nothing compared to energy, where we were energy independent. And now you look at what's happened to energy. We're getting our energy from Venezuela. You believe that one? Real wages collapsed 26 months in a row. Real wages because of inflation and various other things that are happening. Typical Americans have seen their incomes crushed by seven thousand four hundred dollars a year since biden took office think of that each year seven thousand four hundred dollars that comes out of very very official offices this is the number the biggest pay cut in many decades nobody's really seen anything like it i don't believe millions of illegal aliens have stormed across our borders it's an invasion of our country that's an invasion just like a military invasion our rights and our liberties are being torn to shreds and your country is being turned into a third world hellhole ruled by censors, perverts, criminals, and thugs. Mm. But as I stand here tonight, I know that the young conservative warriors, and you are warriors of Turning Point, will never let this happen. You can't let this happen. <laughs> Every day you defend our values, and you never yield, and you never will yield to the radical left. That's why you are the ones who are going to take back America. You are the ones who are going to make America great again. Mm. From the earliest days of our republic, every generation has been called to defend America. We always have that defend, but people say it not with the bravado that they say it now, because now they really mean it. We're in big trouble. Today, the greatest threat is not from the outside. The greatest threat is the sick, sinister, and evil forces trying to destroy our nation from within. If you have the right leadership, China's not a problem. If you have the right leadership, Russia's not a problem. They would have never done what they did. Believe me, they would have never done. But the spy balloon, with this, he's probably talking about the spy balloon, right? Yo, they, he said they would have never done that underneath me. What? Put a spy, but put a spy balloon up if you wanted to. I'd have been up. You know what I'm saying? He they would have paid. Ah, that's one thing I do believe in. Trump stood on business. You know what I'm saying? Just right and it's wrong. You don't wrong him because you wrong him. He gonna wrong you three or four times over to prove his point. Don't wrong me no more. They would have never done that. But they knew Joe. Joe was asleep on a job. He called down, hey, don't shoot the balloon down yet. Let me talk to them and make sure this is their balloon, man. I don't want no problems. The balloon stayed in the air for how many days, man? It was up there for a while before they were like, yeah, go ahead and shoot it down. Like, come on, man. Trump would have got that thing. It wouldn't even have been in the air. Let's be not real. Not a problem. If you have the right leadership, Russia's not a problem. They would have never done what they did. Believe me, they would have never done. What did Russia and do? I spoke to... Vladimir, did you see the other day, two days ago, he called, he told the, he's talking to the president of Ukraine, and he said, uh, Vladimir, he meant Zelensky, Vladimir over here, no, oh, I meant, uh, huh. That's that was no one of the you. good days, too. Vladimir. That was one <laughs> Vladimir, I'd like to thank you for being here, huh? Actually, he didn't know he made a mistake there to tell him. Your task, your calling, your historic mission is to liberate America from these communists, fascists, Marxists, globalists, and warmongers who want to plunder the future of our country. And that's exactly what we are going to do together when we all together become the 47th president of the United States of America. Thank you very much. Yeah, Kelly.
And by the way, Charlie told me this is the biggest crowd they've ever had, and uh, they had a larger room because there are a lot of people outside that fill that. Uh, this is the biggest crowd. And I think you loved our four years, but I also think I've, you've watched the last three years, and <clears throat> you draw a comparison, it makes it even more so. But uh, I do it's appreciate not even it, but it's a record bro. crowd, and uh, that's great. And I'm very happy for Turning Point and Charlie and everybody else. They've come a long way. They've come a long way. Let's be real, man. There is no comparison between the last three years Biden has done and what Trump done in two years. Let's be real. A year and a half. What has Biden really done? He's hindered us more than he's helped, for sure. Due to weighing us down. Everybody else has come a long way. They've come a long way. I will quickly stop Joe Biden's inflation nightmare, worst inflation, in many years they really don't know how many they say 52 but i think it's much higher than that restore energy independence and bring down interest rates so that young people can once again afford to buy a house and a car the basic american dream mm. the american dream is dead under biden we will have the american dream back very soon we will rapidly rebuild the greatest economy in the history of the world we had that you know we did it twice I did it the first time, and then we had COVID come in, a gift from China, and that came in. And when I gave it up, we had a rigged election. And when I gave up the, uh, the reins, so to speak, uh, we had the stock market was higher than it was before COVID came. The day before COVID came, and we had a higher stock market, despite the hell that the whole world had to go through because of what came out of the Wuhan labs. And I used to say that, the Wuhan labs, they used to censor me. They used to say, oh, that's terrible. It turned out to be we were right. We were right about a lot of things. We are right Damn. about almost everything, maybe everything. How did he know, bro? How did he know? Like, he says, we, he had speculation. He, they used to get mad at him about talking about the Wuhan labs or Wuhan labs. What, what, how did he, what tipped him off that they were doing something they weren't supposed to be doing? That just, that blows my mind that he's like ahead of everything, like before it happens. He's like, yeah, I closed off the borders before because I knew it was coming. Well, if he knew it was from the Wuhan lab or the, the Wuhan labs were up to no good, he would have known to close the China borders off off the rip. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it just, it amazes me how like on top of shit he is, man. To be, we were right. We were right about a lot of things. We're right about almost everything, maybe everything. But we'll do that once again. <laughs> After 50 years of leftist domination of the universities, I will take bold action to reclaim our colleges from the communist left. Anti-American radicals will no longer be given a free hand to dominate our institutions of higher education. Using my leverage, and it's a tremendous leverage, and I used it before very well. You know, we put penalties on them if they wouldn't let conservatives or anybody speak. Big, big penalties. All of a sudden, everybody was invited to speak. I don't know if anybody knows that, but you sort of felt it. Uh, but it was very good. But it was somewhat artificial because they were doing it because they would have had huge monetary penalties. But at least we were getting the word out. Everybody should be able to speak. But yeah. using my leverage over college accreditors, we are going to choke off the money to schools that aid the Marxist assault on our American heritage and on Western civilization itself. The days of subsidizing communist indoctrination in our colleges will soon be over. And, you know, I will say this. This is a I would say very largely conservative group. I call it common sense group because I think a lot of conservatism is common sense. When they ask you for a definition, it starts with common sense. But uh, I tell them uh, very often that you will be shocked to see colleges, even the ones that you hear are most liberal. We have tremendous numbers of people out there. I think even more. They don't speak up as much, but they're starting to speak up. You know, when you see Bud Light and when you see all of the things that have happened, I mean, you take a look at that. They're down 37%. The company is... Mm. Nobody's ever seen it. And, you know, the... The radical left has always used that. They've used their buying power. They'd sort of name a company and go after a company. We've never done it. That just happened uh, Naturally. by osmosis, actually. But it's also happening. I heard Target mentioned today. And Wait, he said it happened by what? Say it again, bro. He said that all happened by osmosis, bro. Nah, dog. Honestly, it was just people, you know what I'm saying? Don't push that agenda on everyone, bro. Like, 
let us, you know, choose on path. Let people do them, but don't push that. That's what happened with Bud Light. They try to push the agenda on everyone. Like, we're cool. You can be included in society, but don't push that agenda on everyone. We don't, everyone doesn't have to partake in that, man. Let let who joins join, you know what I'm saying? Who Just let, just let us ride, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you know, the, the radical left has always used that. They've used their buying power. They'd sort of name a company and go after a company. We've never done it. That just happened uh, by osmosis, actually. But it's also happening. I heard Target mentioned today and various others. And we have tremendous power to make sure that our country goes down the right tracks. We're going to smash the Marxist diversity, equity, and inclusion bureaucracies that are driving up tuition costs and sticking you with crushing debt. And for any universities that want federal student loan dollars, we will also require them to offer real job placement and career services, as well as options for accelerated and low-cost degrees. Uh wow. Now, this dude's hitting on points now. He says he's going to make it mandatory for colleges to, you know, offer career placement services after, after you know, schooling. Now, that right there, bro, dude got me sold alone on that That right there because I know I, there's so many people that, you know, they're going to get these nice degrees, you know what I'm saying? And it's so hard to find a job because they're like, hey, um, if you want a job here, if you want to even apply or be considered, you need to have 10 years of experience in the field. And I'm like, well, damn, how am I get the experience in the field? What, volunteering? The hell? You know what I'm saying? But that job placement guaranteed after schooling and the fast track accelerated learning. My goodness. He's trying to get us rich. He's trying to get us rich, rich. For accelerated and low cost degrees, uh, these institutions have gone up, the pricing has gone up more than just about any industry. You, you look at their costs and they drive them up because the federal government gives loans to everybody, so it's more expensive, but somebody has to pay back that loan, except under Biden, but the Supreme Court decided that that wasn't going to happen. My administration will strictly enforce last month's landmark Supreme Court decision to move our country forward with a merit-based system of education right right you are in the great get in get great marks and if you've worked hard right and you did right. all of the things you're going to get into that college somebody with half of the energy and the marks and all of the things necessary to get in that's what we have to have we have to have our absolute most brilliant people. This is such a competitive world. We have to have our most brilliant people going to the most brilliant schools and universities. And now, that's what we have. These are, these are some of the things that we've done for this country, and they are big. And a lot of them, people didn't think would happen. And if colleges persist in continuing to violate your civil rights, we will have their endowments severely taxed and fined, and a portion of the seized funds used as restitution for the victims of these racist practices. They're really racist practices. In addition, I want to close the Department of Education and move education Honestly. back to the states where it belongs and where parents have total control of their children's lives. That's a big thing. You know, we have the worst education system just about in the world. We spend more per student by double and triple than any other country. And yet we're ranked at the bottom of the list, like out of a group of 40 nations, we're 38, 39. And yet Damn. we're double and triple per pupil the cost. We're going to move it back to the states, let the states we'll have a little tiny, tiny little, just to make sure they're teaching everybody English, you know, a little bit of guy. <laughs> we want to make sure they're teaching English, but uh, a little tiny coordination, but not much. Like about, how about an office the size of this podium, one person? <laughs> Nevada, you got to do a little bit better. I know the teachers are happy to hear that. You know what I'm saying? He's getting the teacher's vote there because I know a lot of teachers in the curriculum that, you know, the government, uh, Department of Education, they push a strict curriculum. You have to teach this, 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 and this. You know what I'm saying? And it doesn't leave much room for extra stuff that, you know, might benefit the student, like history lessons, actual history, current events, you know, 
just all kinds of different, like financial literacy and stuff like that. I know that hinders teachers from being able to have, you know, flexibility to work in, you know, real life principles into their, you know, curriculum because uh Department of Education has guidelines of what they have to teach and it fills up all their time. This is definitely getting the teachers go here. One person. Nevada, you got to do a little bit better. No, we're going to do a job. We're going to do a job and we're going to have great education. And, you know, it's uh, much more pinpointed this way also. And the parents can be much more involved. It's not this big bureaucracy. And then we'll be able to sell all those buildings that are occupied right now for so much money. So much money. Pay off debt. Pay off a lot of the debt, and we have plenty of it. Under my leadership, we will bring back free speech in America just last week. We've had some amazing rulings, you know that. Just last week in a historic ruling, a brilliant federal judge ordered the Biden administration to cease and desist from their illegal and unconstitutional censorship in collusion with the social media. media. Yep, 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 yep. Real news, baby. That's real news. News Max. Yo, that was a turning point speech from Donald Trump. You know what I'm saying? He really broke it down how crooked Joe Biden and killed the American dream, man. I know for me personally, it makes a lot of sense what he's saying. Like, it is tremendously, like, the housing market is tremendously competitive. It is so hard to get your hands on real estate right now. I know when I went off for college right before, or I won't say right before COVID, I was, I was in school for two years right before COVID um, hit. Um, I got rid of my apartment in college because, like, they shut down. I was working at um, Cheddar's. No one was eating out to eat um, during COVID. So <clears throat> I moved back home. And then once I moved back home, I started looking at, you know, trying to buy a house or maybe invest in some real estate. And I was like, holy cow, the market is just like it's shot. There's nothing I really can do. You know what I mean? If I go out and get a rent, I mean, I'll be paying that just to survive, you know, and it just didn't make sense. So now I'm just, you know, you got to save up to even think about buying an investment house or, you know, something for your family. It's just, it's ridiculous. Come on now. Bring Trump back, man. Get, get, get us some, you know, get the real estate market back bumping. You know what I'm saying? Get us, get that American dream going again. People can't even buy houses and cars. Let's be real. Yo, also make sure you guys like this video, man. Subscribe to the channel on the road to 10K, y'all. I'll catch y'all next week. Oh, baker, baker.